Welcome to this week's GCN Tech Clinic. You know the score by now. You send your questions in. We well, don't send them in. You post them in the comments section underneath videos using the hashtag AskGCNTech, and then uh, we pick them out and try and answer them as best we can. We do. Uh, so without further ado, we've got a question from Dinesh Kumar, who says, Hi GCN, is there any specific limit to patch an inner tube? Can or can I patch it any number of times? Thanks. Um, patch it as many number of times as you like. There's no set limit. The only thing I will say is that if you've got two punctures particularly close to each other, um, then it might be game over for your inner tube because it's hard to patch them, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Um, next question, Toby Wilson. Didn't you say you know a Toby Wilson? I do know someone called Toby. I wouldn't, I don't, there might be another Toby Wilson. Yeah. Anyway, um, it says, Hi, Ollie and Alex. Many studies have shown that carbon frames are stiffer and lighter, but does a stiffer frame really make you faster or is it just for comfort? Well, I have spoken to people at British Cycling who, when investigating, you know, optimising things for the Olympic riders, have measured significant sort of increases in efficiency in using stiffer equipment, carbon frames, carbon bars, carbon shoes, uh, things like that, in terms of the performance of, of track sprinters. So there is a definite thing. That said, this is something that we would love oh, to yeah, investigate would. for sort of normal riders yeah. like, like us on, you know, say an aluminium frame versus a carbon frame and see if we can actually measure something. So watch this space. We, we probably will investigate it further in the future. But yes, anecdotally, speaking anecdotally, yes. carbon frames are stiffer and do feel more efficient even for sort of average riders. Like Out on the us. road as well. Yeah, yeah cool. Uh, next question is from Robin Lund who says, Changing up onto the big ring on his Campagnolo Mirage chain set is time consuming and quite noisy. It's not got the standard chain rings on, so is it advisable to change back to the original ones and the original chain, will this help? Um, I think it probably would help. So many of the non-original chain rings and some, some different brands and manufacturers don't have the same lifting pins built onto the inside face of the chain ring, and that's what helps guide the chain up onto the larger chain ring. So I think that's probably where your issue's coming from. Yeah, and if you haven't already, also double check that your front derailleur is positioned and set up uh, perfectly as well, as that will have a big bearing on it. Uh, next question is from Oliver Wetham, who says, Hi Alex Nolly, I want to replace my saddle with something I get on with a bit better, but the new saddle has oval rails, so I'm guessing it's carbon rails, yeah. uh, nine by seven millimeters, while my current one has round seven millimeter rails. I've asked multiple bike shops if my vertical clamping saddle post will accommodate the oval rails, but getting mixed results. How can I find out if my saddle post will take oval rails? Note that I asked a bike manufacturer twice and got different responses each time. Got a lot of information in there, wasn't there? Um, so clamping the oval rails from the top and the bottom, which is the, the clamp that they're saying they have, I think that's perfectly fine. You just won't be able to clamp the oval rails in a clamp that's clamped on from the side because yeah. it just won't fit in there, will it really? Um, so in my mind, clamping it from the top and, top and bottom, no stress whatsoever. Yeah, if it yeah. fits, it should be okay, but just make sure that you use a torque wrench and you tighten it to the uh, advised torque setting of the saddle rail so that you don't end yeah. up damaging anything. Next question is from Elliot Faris, who says, Hi Alex, I've got an Orbea Avant, Orbea Avant, sorry, with 105 disc brakes, and it says they've got quick release levers instead of through axles, mm. and they're looking to upgrade their wheels to a good carbon set. But I don't know what to do because not all wheels have quick release skewers, lots of them have through axles. What are our suggestions? Um, it's going to vary a lot, isn't it? Depending on what type of wheels, what manufacturer you go to. So you're going to need to look at those specific wheels and the models and then contact the manufacturer to see if they'll supply them with the different fixings and end caps, because some of them do, like the Vision Trimax wheels. I know they're aluminium, but they include all of the different fixings into the box to run all of the different axles. Mm. So contact the manufacturer for the wheels that you're looking at and they'll be able to let you know if they're suitable. Next question is from Side Sar Sarmiento, who yeah. says, GCN Tech, can you guys make another series of bike builds? May I suggest a mountain bike to gravel bike build, please, for those people wanting to dip their toes on transitioning from mountain bike to road, but are on a low budget. Huge thanks in advance. Yes, that is a cool idea. And the reason, first off, before we say about this idea, the reason your question made it in is because I noticed you posted the exact same question time and time again, 27 times in fact, straight after one after the other. Mm. Um, so yeah, you made it in. But I think it would be really cool to try and do a, a mountain bike gravel bike conversion, wouldn't it? Mm. I'm keen for that, are you keen? 
Yeah. Oh, I guess we better okay. make a plan, don't we? Mm. Okay, well, on to our last question for this week's, which is from Douglas McCowan, who says, Just curious, Alex, why does your great-looking Orbea use an Ultegra crankset, well, it uses a group set as well, um, and not Durace? Mm. Why is that, actually? Oh, um, you've not passed your probation yet. You only get Durace when you pass your probation. Period. What, still? Yeah. I've been here ages now. Keep trying. Oh, God. Um, no, <laughs> yeah. I'm joking. No, well, we've got a, a mixture of, of all different bikes. We've got bikes with 105 on as well, and some have got Ultegra on. And it, pff, Luck of the draw, basically. Yeah, it all yeah. works. It's all great stuff. It all works really, really well. Yeah, that's it. That was our last question for this week's GCN Tech Clinic. Hope it's been helpful and we've answered your questions. If we haven't, we'll keep getting them in the comments section down below, and we'll try and get to them next week. Yeah, keep them coming, and we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.